Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I want to help you with your tab management. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, uh, it, you're, you're on the internet, right? And perhaps you're someone like me that just needs a crap ton of tabs um, for the various things that you do, right? Well, there's a great thing that you can do, and it's actually you can group tabs. Now, this, this, this is for uh, Google Chrome specifically. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to work on the other stuff, but, um, but if you're using Google Chrome, this is a little nifty trick. So the reason this is beneficial, and if you're someone who uses a lot of tabs, you already know why this might be. But when it comes to tabs, the more tabs you add, the, the more they start to shrink and it becomes quite cumbersome eventually when you have a lot of tabs to see where anything really is, right? And so on Google Chrome, you can create tab groups. And as the name implies, it literally is just a way to group various things together, right? So for example, I've got my first tab open and it's just a YouTube video uh, of his Dark Materials Season 2 ending explained. Now, I'm not going to play it, so don't worry about that. But let's just say that, you know, I'm doing some research for his Dark Materials. So I'll open another tab and type in that. And I'll kind of just go ahead and open a couple of things in new tabs um, based on his Dark Materials, right? So now what's nice is I can group all of these into a tab group. And the way I do that is I just click on, I, I just click on one of them. And what I can do is say, so I'm clicking on the right clicking on the tab at the top and saying, add tab to new group. Boom, this comes up and I call it um, his dark materials research, right? Boom, that's simple. Now, if I want to add something else, um, I do the same thing. And instead of creating a new group, which I could do, right, I just click his dark materials research and then it gets goes there. And then I'll do it with this one now. So I've got three that are ungrouped and three that are. What's nice is the tab group can collapse. So if I click this, uh, it collapses. And so, you know, in this way, if you're not using a certain set, you don't have to see it and it and it lessens the real estate on your top line, right? And you can actually see the tabs that you need to see and not see the ones that you don't want to see. So it's really that simple. So if I just want to group these three into a new tab, I just click new, new group. I'll call it his dark materials too, just for the sake of it. And you can call it whatever you want. You can give it a color whatever you want, and then boom, that's grouped. Now I'm gonna throw this in that group and this, right? And so now I can expand or collapse these what is that, YouTube? Oh, based YouTube. on um, how you know whatever I need, right? And I can have both of them open or just one at a time. And, and the good news is kind of like with tabs, you can have an infinite number of tab groups, but be careful. Um, because then you just kind of run into the same problem that you did. Thanks for watching. I hope this was beneficial. If you have any questions or comments, please share them down in the comments section or hit me up on social media at Phil Svitek. And also feel free to share this with someone in your life who may find it beneficial, especially if they are someone who tends to have three trillion or however many tabs open at any given point. This certainly would probably help them. Anyway, thank you and hope to see you next time.